SNP serial rebel Fergus Ewing has been handed a week-long suspension by his party. It follows a series of run-ins with some of his parliamentary colleagues, including a vote against Circular Economy Minister Lorna Slater. Formerly a cabinet minister, Mr Ewing has had something of a tumultuous relationship with his party in his time on the back benches. He gave a statement at Holyrood earlier this evening. We are a party that has always put Scotland first. And that means, to me, putting the interests of the people of Scotland first. But in good conscience, and it grieves me to say this, I don't believe that that is any longer the case. What am I to do now? I chose to defend my constituents' interests uh, and let the cards fall where they may. Well, we assessed what tonight's developments might mean for Fergus Ewing and his party with the Daily Record's political editor, Paul Hutchin. So Fergus Ewing suspended from the SNP uh, party tonight for a week. Can you just remind us, you know, how we got here? Yes, well, Fergus Ewing, who used to be a cabinet secretary in the Scottish Government, has been a ferocious critic of the SNP-led administration of late. He's been unhappy with various policies and it really came to a head with the deposit return scheme when the Conservatives tabled a motion of no confidence in the Green Minister Lorna Slater and Fergus Ewing voted with the Conservatives to effectively sack her from her job. She survived, but it was deemed to be an act of disloyalty by Fergus Ewing and that explains his one-week suspension. And he's made, a, a, you know, an astonishing uh, statement tonight, you know, a blistering attack on the SNP, hasn't he? That's right. Um, but anyone who has followed Fergus Ewing's statements in the press, uh, in broadcasting outlets, uh, it will come as no surprise. He's just increasingly agitated by the direction of the Scottish Government. And by that, I mean the inclusion of the Greens um, uh, in that ministerial team. He's been a long-standing critic of... Um, what he regards as some bad aspects of green politics going back 20 years. And I think this is probably the, the culmination of that sort of frustration. Um, you know, as, he, as you said, reminded us, you know, he's a former cabinet minister, a member of the Ewing uh, clan. It is quite something that he is saying these things, though, tonight, isn't it? Well, it is a big moment. He is, after all, the son of the, the late Winnie Ewing. Um, his sister is in the Scottish Parliament as well, uh, and his late wife was also an SNP MSP. So this is definitely a clan, but I don't see Fergus Ewing as any sort of progressive hero. Look at his voting record on things like gay rights. I think it's very sketchy indeed. I think he's very much someone who's of a previous generation um, and I don't think that many younger people will be looking at the departure of um, Fergus from the SNP, even for a week, as a, a great loss. And, and what do you think the future holds for Fergus Ewing? Do you think he'll stay within the SNP? I think he's got options. I mean, he could go as an independent. Um, who knows, maybe he's been talking to his old friend Alex Salmond and might end up in Alaba. Um, there has been talk that he would cross the floor and join the Conservatives. I don't think that is plausible, uh, given their divide on the Constitution. To be honest with you, he's probably too right-wing for the Conservatives as well. I'm not sure that they would have him. Um, the, um, the SNP used to have iron discipline uh, within its ranks. It, it just doesn't seem to have that so much anymore. I think that the SNP is now resembling a more normal political party. I think that the iron discipline that we saw under Alex Salmond and Nicola Sturgeon was unrealistic and it was unhealthy. Um, obviously, Hamza Youssef wants to run a tight ship, but I think it's good when you have people speaking out in the back benches, even occasionally voting against party policy. But I do think that Fergus crossed a red line by voting against the Green Minister. That was always going to cause him a huge amount of problems. And very briefly, despite all their troubles, they are still you know, well ahead in the polls. That's right. Um, they'll be happy with the polls, although they are down and it looks like Labour are snapping at their heels. It looks like Labour are going to win a lot of seats from the SNP at the next Westminster election. Um, but I, I do think that uh, uh, Fergus Ewing is very much a figure from the past, not the future. And the okay. SNP is going to look at their, their strategy again. It probably won't include people like Fergus Ewing. OK, Paul, thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening.